after WhatsApp announced a revision to its privacy policy signaling further integration with Facebook over data sharing, the Tesla CEO Elon Musk has suggested that users should switch to the Signal app. This is a tweet that's been directed uh, right against WhatsApp after uh, the privacy rules and regulations change. Rubina has more. Rubina, what are we to make of these developments? Yes, Rishika, like WhatsApp, when WhatsApp updated its privacy policy, it confirmed that it will be sharing data with Facebook. And because of that, and also because of Elon Musk tweeting out that, you know, Signal, Signal and Telegram, two apps saw a surge in people registering. In fact, Signal even tweeted out, tweeted out saying that, you know, our verification codes are facing a delay because there's so many people trying to get on the app. So yes, both these apps, both Telegram and Signal are great as messaging apps. However, Telegram does not offer end-to-end -end encryption on chats, which are normal chats. They do offer end-to-end -end encryption on secret chats. Signal, on the other hand, is like WhatsApp. It uh, offers end-to-end -end encryption. There is no data sharing, you know, with like another social platform, unlike in case of WhatsApp. So it's now sounding better. And uh, also the fact that Signal only loses on the fact that they, it has less features. Like on WhatsApp, you can make group calls. You probably will, will miss out that on Signal till Signal actually comes up with new features. So all in all, yes, it's, it's Signal's moment right now because of WhatsApp's new policy. Maybe now WhatsApp will reconsider the entire strategy behind sharing their uh, users' data with Facebook. All right, Rubina, appreciate you for joining us uh, with the very latest. Let's go across now to Amit Dube, ethical hacker and cybersecurity expert joining us. We have Jitin Jain, also a cybersecurity expert joining us. Thank you both very much for being with us. Uh, you know, to begin with, Mr. Dube, I'd like, to, I'd like to come to you. Could you just make sense of these developments? I mean, uh, there's a new privacy policy that WhatsApp's put in place that seems to have sent the world into a bit of a tizzy. Uh, how are we to understand this? Is it uh, is it a very real threat to your uh, to your data? Should you be deleting the app and and switching to another one like uh, Elon Musk is suggesting? See, it is it is definitely a bigger threat and uh, whatever we can feel right now, because WhatsApp is trying to <clears throat> replace all these alert systems which normally we get through SMS. Mm -hmm. They want to offer these APIs to all these players eventually, so you will start getting your uh, airport alerts and health alerts and any other server services alerts on your WhatsApp, including your financial transaction alerts as well. So they can now, they would know more about you. They would know each and every activity about you. So even if they are not sharing your chats or videos to someone, the activities that you are doing on WhatsApp will be shared. And that is a bigger threat because if I'll have your SMS details, I would know each and everything about you. How much money you spend on a particular thing? Where do you go? Your locations, your pattern. And that is something which creates a profile. And based on that profile, they offer you the products either on Facebook or some other platform. So that is their strategy through which they will make more money. For sure, it is a revenue game for them. But it is creating challenges for us because we never realized this earlier. And we used WhatsApp in a from a different perspective. We thought like WhatsApp is just for our private secret communication. And that trust is now getting challenged. Okay. I think that's, uh, that's, that's very interesting for a layperson to understand what this policy change is actually going to entail. Uh, but Jeetan Jain, if I can come to you, you know, what are your options? You either agree and stay on WhatsApp because that's your, you know, medium of communication because you already have all your groups or your work uh, that exists on WhatsApp. Or if you want to shift... Uh, then would you take up uh, Elon Ma Musk's suggestion? Would you would you switch to another app? Would you switch to Signal? We are already on Telegram and Signal, and we use WhatsApp only for messaging and tell people that come on Signal to talk. So that's one thing. But you see, Rishika, you have to understand two things. This is, uh, you know, when Facebook bought WhatsApp five years ago, there was an absolute promise that WhatsApp's data will never be shared or integrated with Facebook company. And this promise was reinforced uh, last year when they updated privacy policy, when they said that privacy is at the heart of WhatsApp. Today, everything has changed. They want to apply. Uh, there is one line that all Facebook data policy will now apply on WhatsApp data. That means they will have republishing rights to everything you upload. That is including your private conversation. Now, they are not putting it in a plain text. But what does that mean is that everything you upload apart from your metadata, uh, technical data like IP address, uh, device details, network, etc., etc., status messages, 
even your they have a right over your private messages and photos to republish tomorrow they can put rishika's photo saying that whatsapp is great in an advertisement and you have given them that right so there is no way you can leave it uh, if you don't confirm to their policy they will block your account by 8th of february that's number one so this is not purely to generate some analytics uh, revenue to give precision an advertisement and make some money from ads i think there is a bigger game which is being played they are facing class action suits in us they are under scrutiny by uh, you know us authorities for monopolistic trade practices and there has been a you know a, a, a talk about breaking these memos into several companies so that they don't dominate the market they don't they are not allowing the normal players to grow and imagine the power they are wielding today the ceo of facebook is able to challenge the president of united states and block him imagine millions of people who have given a person authority to launch nuclear launch codes today is declared to invalid to even operate a twitter account by these people so look at the kind of authority they are so i think this is a preemptive move that mm -hmm. before these authorities decide to break these companies into multiple parts they are integrating them so whatsapp did quietly uh, facebook quietly integrated instagram with facebook so today you can message your facebook friends from instagram yes. they want to integrate it completely so that tomorrow if there was an order to break up they would say look we have already integrated it is not possible now so i think there is a bigger game at play over here and they have sensed an opportunity that us government is at the weakest leg on the last term and governments across the world since they have been asking whatsapp to provide encryption back doors or to provide data to law enforcement authorities yes. so they very well know government in the world will now oppose whatsapp so they have carried in both the hands and they are having a free run to monetize your data so you are basically telling me if i don't want my pictures to be misused i need to get off whatsapp in in a nutshell is that what you are telling me Yes, I mean they were doing it already, but now it is absolutely clear, and there is no way. So it, uh, they may continue to say That's that WhatsApp chats are to encrypt it, but only during the conversation. They Pavan, will have access to the okay. and privacy is there. Okay, okay. Pawan Dugal, would you uh, would you agree with what you've heard? You're a cyber law expert and an advocate yourself. Uh, would you agree that these new uh, rules and regulations, the new privacy policy for WhatsApp, is actually harmful for users, and it's time perhaps to move on? It's not. just merely harmful it will be extremely prejudicial to their digital present and their digital future if you want to cut your hands and put them in the hands of uh, whatsapp and be at their mercy for the rest of your life please go ahead and accept those terms and conditions if you want to jump into a ball of fire without appropriate protections please go ahead and accept uh, these whatsapp uh, privacy policies because these amendments are a mockery of uh, the indian cyber law and the indian legal framework now india is one of the biggest markets for uh, whatsapp across the world and it chooses to come up with these amendments to the privacy policy in complete okay. contravention of the information technology act 2000 and also the rules and regulations specifically the information technology rules 2011 okay. right. so i think people need to be sensitized if you value your privacy it's time to move on to the signals and the telegrams of the world well that's very interesting and and all the experts there unanimously agreeing with elon musk uh, that it is time to move on i'm afraid uh, jitin jain i'm completely out of time but this is a story we'll continue to address here on ndtv